Hello guys and welcome back to Controls Hero. In this CCT tutorial you will learn something very cool. How to execute any logic you want after power is restored to your controller. Let's say your Johnson Controls, FEC, BMA or similar controller loses power unexpectedly and you don't want to execute your regular program when it starts back up. Instead you want a more critical sequence to be executed, then you can do it. So I found this magical module called Execution Status. Although I'm not quite familiar with all of its functions, I'll show you all the little experiments I did with it. Okay, before we start, I gotta do this. It's protocol. If you think these videos are helping you improve your programming skills, please subscribe to my channel, like the video, and click the notification bell to know every time I post a new video. Okay, I consider this a more advanced training, so I will be assuming that you're familiar with hybrid activities, command hierarchies, timers, how to map points in metasys, and so on. Now let's get started. I want to show you this little setup that I have. I have an FEC controller for relays, which are the status of this uh, module. They will show the status of this module. I have uh, an FC trunk connected to an NCE, which is my uh, supervisory device where we can record our point trends and that's it okay so coming to cct i have an application here that i prepared for this video so here i have a programming block called controller state i just gave it that name i'm gonna go right click view logic and here's my module and i want to show you where where you can find this module so it's basically under here under timing folder and it's this guy so you just basically drag it over right and this module only has one output and it's an enumerator so its units are normal power up restart and re-enabled so i'm inside this hybrid activity and i have as units execution status right which is the same units as my module so that way i can connect my module to my hybrid activity and uh, and the main idea is to monitor this module and capture every time it changes state. And I decided to command actual relays to visually see each of these four states, as you can see on this picture. So my relay one is normal, relay two power up, relay three restart, and relay four re-enabled. And looking at the Johnson Controls help file, you can find a short definition of each state. And I'll be honest with you, I was only able to trigger three states out of the four. Restart never worked. Coming back to CCT, let me show you how this was done. So every time the execution status will change state, it will command only one relay. Let's say that it will be in normal. So I'm gonna go in my hybrid activity to the normal state. And you can see that the relay one is commanded to on and the rest are commanded to off. Same thing with power up. Uh, Relay 2 will be on for power up and the rest off and so on. Now let's see some action. In the picture you notice that under normal conditions Relay 1 is going to be enabled. So it's always going to be light up. Now let's see what happens when we turn out the power. Which is going to be kind of obvious. Everything gets de-energized. So now let's put the power back on. Power up and normal. Notice that the first relay to turn on was relay number two, power up, which makes sense. And it turned on exactly six seconds after the power was applied and it stayed on for less than a second, about 700 milliseconds. And right after relay number one, the normal state turned on at 6.7 seconds. Let's do this test one more time. Let's reapply power. And this time it took almost seven seconds. I don't know why, but just be aware of that. Now coming back to CCT, I wanna show you an additional module that I created. This is um, state status and countdown. So basically what I did in my hybrid activity, uh, I connected the state of the hybrid activity to a, uh, an input on, my, on this logic module. And if I go inside, is this guy controller status. 
And what this logic does is every time the controller changes state, let's say normal, it'll start a timer, a pulse, and it will also count down the time. In this case, I have uh, 120 seconds, two minutes. So, and I have an interval of one seconds here, so, so the countdown works. And same thing for every other state. So, and the way it works, you know, I have a command hierarchy. Every time my input, you know, goes into normal, it'll, it'll be a true. Everything else is gonna be a false. Uh, for, let's say, the restart, I have restart here, true, and everything else false. So that's how it basically works. And I configure all of my outputs as backnet expose true. That way I can auto discover the points in Metasys and map them with no uh, trouble, right? And the main reason for this logic is to monitor the controller as much as possible. All these points are mapped in Metasys and I added some trends. Um, some of the stuff is not gonna get recorded in Metasys since the controller is gonna go offline and it's gonna show unreliable or question marks, but at least we're gonna be able to see the timer counting down if that event actually happens. Okay, so we are here in Metasys. I'm using Metasys 9.0 and I have my controller map along with its points. I have my uh, four uh, relay points, relay outputs, normal, power up, restart, and re-enable. Uh, and I got my the timer pulses right here. False, 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 false. Everything is false. I got also the countdown right there mapped. Now the first test I'm going to do is to unplug the power from the FEC and we'll see what happens. So I'm doing it right now. Okay, my controller goes offline and it seems that it didn't record anything. Fair enough. Now let's put the power back on. So I am doing that right now. You just hear the relays. Okay, it's back online. And now here's the interesting thing. My pulse uh, for normal went to true and my timer is started counting down. And this is a normal. Remember that the first uh, uh, relay that turns on is the, the power up. So that didn't, didn't even get recorded in uh, inside CCT. It didn't trigger anything. So you can see that the only thing that got triggered was when the controller went to normal state and it started counting down. Okay, so the next test I would like to do is to restart the controller. So the only way I can think of is by commanding uh, the, the FEC and reset the device. So I will expect uh, this uh, point to trigger, but uh, we'll see what happens. So I'm just gonna right click my controller Click Command, and I'll do Reset Field Device. So my controller is shut down. You can see it really is clicking. Power up and normal. And, oh, it went offline for a second. And now, same thing as before. Or normal went to true. This, re uh, this got triggered. And my countdown is working there but nothing happened to my restart and notice that my execution status uh, doesn't even record let's look at the trend data yeah it doesn't record anything all right so the last test i would like to do is to disable my fec controller from metasys so i'm just gonna go right click command and disable, send, and what it does, um, it sets the controller offline. I guess it disables the communication. And by looking at my FEC, my FEC is still operating under normal. So, so yeah, let's see what happens when we go back to enable. Goes back to normal right away and nothing got triggered. 
So now let's look at our trend data for each point. Let's see what got recorded. I'm going to go select all of them. View. A trend viewer. And I'm just going to pull this down. I'm going to select all of them. So we can see right away that uh, this uh, pinkish uh, trend was the timer counting down for normal okay so now that we know that that works from the 120 seconds down to zero that's good on normal i'm just gonna uncheck that next one is the green one the normal that's the binary uh, pulse and what's this red one uh, that red one is relay one so you can see that uh, not even Metasys or Metasys was not able to record when when the relay was off. So it, it recorded on all the time. And everything else is just zeros. I'm going to uncheck relay one. Yeah, everything else is off. Okay, I do actually have one more test to show you. And that's an disabling and enabling the controller from CCT. And actually, I'm in commissioning mode right now. And if you're using the latest version of CCT, I think you can do that uh, from online operations. Right, right now, I'm using uh, 13 uh, CCT at 10.2 uh, release mode. So I will click on control controller state, which is my controller name. And I will go ahead and go to edit and disable my controller. So you're going to see what happens over here. Apply. And it went to disable. So all these points, I guess all the logic gets disabled inside CCT. So you can even see it here. And now I am going to re-enable the logic and, and, and pay attention of what's going to happen in Metasys. Okay, I'll select true. And you might hear the release clicking, so I'm going to do that right now. So the re-enable state just got triggered for a fraction of a second. Now let's see what happened in Metasys. It seems that the normal state got triggered, it shows a true. And the time remaining is counting down. And nothing else appears to have changed. But let's look at the execution status. Let's look at the trend. Right click view. Trend. So the execution module actually uh, recorded a change. And those three changes, you know, I did a test before, so that's why you see three. So re-enable, so it actually recorded. And this status is actually connected to my CCT logic and my re-enable status didn't get triggered. So let's right click on it, view. Trend. And nothing. So to sum up, the only reliable state of this execution status module appears to be when it goes into normal state. That's really one. Since that was the only state able to trigger logic inside the controller. In this case, we saw the pulse timer counting down. The second relay power up, we saw it triggering, but it didn't record a trend on its point, nor the execution status point. Relay three, Restart never triggered at all. So if you guys know of a way of testing this point, please comment below. And finally, relay four, the re-enable state was triggered for a fraction of a second, but it didn't record a trend. However, the interesting thing is that it was the only state that recorded in the execution status trend. So if you want to have some logic executing after your controller restarts, I will use a pulse to detect when the execution status switches to normal. All right, this is the end of my first advanced CCT tutorial. I hope it was not too confusing. And if you think it was useful and you learned something new, please like the video, subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you know exactly when I upload my next video. Thank you and until next time.